x again. And then minus 3 times the first derivative, which is 4ax plus a. All right. And then minus 4ax. Now, some of the terms on the left side have an x with them, and some of them are just constants. So like, for example, I see that there's an x on this first term, and on this term here, which is 12ax, and then minus 4a times x. Notice that this is just 0. <laughs> so this term, this term, and this term are just canceling out completely. What I'm left with is 8a minus 3a. Okay, and so 5a is equal to 15. That means that a is going to equal 3. So my particular solution is just 3x e to the 4x. Just like that. Okay, and so my final answer for my final answer, I can, if I want, I can just write it like this. This is perfectly fine, just to put that down. In this case, it's not such a headache to actually just write it out. C1 e to the 4x plus C2 e to the negative x plus 3x e to the 4x. And this would be the answer. Okay, again. It is a three-step process. If you know how to annihilate the function on the right-hand side, right, you can use this method. First, solve the corresponding homogeneous differential equation by using the material from the previous section. Secondly, find the annihilator of capital F and use it to produce one particular solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation. And finally, step three, that's where we just simply write down the final answer. We write down the final answer by just adding the complementary function and the particular solution together. Hope all this makes sense. I've done about four examples now, I think, in total. Um, we'll have more time to talk about this when we get back together again. Uh, I'll answer some homework questions on Monday. I'll also do some group work with you where we can practice this a little bit more. Be plenty of time to kind of get on top of this annihilators approach. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your guys' patience with me and I look forward to seeing you guys all again real soon. Take care.